perspective. Senator Dick Lugar has been a member of Congress almost 12,500 days, the longest in Indiana history, and some members of the Tea Party say that's long enough. Tea Partiers have taken Lugar to task for supporting the new START nuclear arms treaty with Russia, claiming the U.S. is giving up too much and Russia not enough. I've got to say, get real. I, I hear Tea Party or other people talking about they were going to start. I reiterated uh, my commitment to get uh, the START treaty done during the lame duck session, and I've communicated to Congress that uh, it is a top priority. Uh, many would say uh, and have said that um, why do anything President Obama wants? Something gives him a victory, and therefore we're the party of no. Now, I think some of us said no, we are not the party of no. We must never be the party of no. Are finally going to say to Republicans, okay, now what are you guys going to do? What, what in fact is your program? Our program is to stop Obama, some would say. It's to defeat Obama. That, it's a two stage process. You defeat the Democrats, first of all, in the Congress, then you defeat Obama. Then, then we'll come out and we'll tell you, well, that's not going to work. Uh, and uh, some have always said, well, you can't trust the Russians. We don't want to deal with the Russians. We even have some members who have said, we shouldn't knock out the very first of our weapons. We need every one of them. We ought to be building more. Uh, I'm not, I don't agree with that philosophy. I understand that's a possible way of going about this world. Republican Senator Dick Lugar turned on his own party and he excoriated his fellow Republicans for blocking this treaty. He says, call Republicans bluff. Make them vote on this thing and do it now. I'm glad the Democrats and Republicans came together to approve my top national security priority for this session of Congress the New START Treaty. And I especially want to thank ranking Republican, uh, Senator Richard Lugar. You know that big START Treaty that the President of the United States has signed, which would limit uh, the atomic power of both the United States and Russia? As a condition of getting Russia to sign, we gave the Russians a lot of secrets about our, one of our closest allies, the United Kingdom. Betrayal's a good word. It seems like it. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, do, betray our best friend to get that darn thing signed. Mm -hmm. Turns out what they did is reveal some UK nuclear secrets. In fact, the size and the scope of their nuclear arsenal, which is against their entire policy, that was a bargaining chip in the negotiations. Yeah, the US somehow promised to uh, give information about every Trident missile that the US supplies to Britain. They well, will then good. share that, in, that data and information with Moscow. During one trip that I was privileged to have with Russians, uh, they become especially friendly. So what do we do? We stabbed our best ally in the back. Oh, we must never be the party of no.